Hey everybody, Doreen here, and welcome to the last bit of fucking energy I have before I fucking die. I am a fucking zombie right now. I am on day six, oh, my seven day work week, straight work week, because um, my schedule is finally changing to my, my normal schedule that it's going to be, but it also means I, I'm having to work two eight hour shifts at the end of an eight hour streak of days like dude like legit i am so fucking tired right now that i'm not even wearing pants i'm not wearing any pants and under i'm i just threw a jacket on like i'm not i'm not i'm not wearing a shirt so yeah so i'm on the floor now uh, I have been for the last two days, and it's actually pretty sweet. It's just really fucking boring sometimes, because I forget to take stuff to do between calls. Um, and today, like, I had a lot of time between calls, and I, I went on Amazon, I just grabbed the first book I could see, which was 1984, and I started reading it, and it's actually really fucking good. And a lot of people have been saying really good things about it. And, you know, it's like a really old book it's from, like, the 40s. But I really like those, like, dystopian-type novels um, that people used to write. Um, about the future, like a future dystopia, um, like Fahrenheit 451, The Giver, stuff like that. Like, I fucking live for that shit, because I'm so fucking edgy! Uh, not counting Tuesday, because it's Valentine's Day, I'm gonna be busy. Um, so I'm gonna have Tuesday, Wednesday, or thir Wednesday, Thursday, Fridays off. Um, so I'm gonna be able to get a lot more done, I'm gonna be able to rest a lot more, I'm not gonna be like this fucking zombie, low energy shit anymore! Aside from that, I got a couple things on my mind that I wanted to dish out with you bros. What the fuck is up with that, uh, Big Mac Jr. or something like that? Like, what the fuck is up with that? Because here's the thing, right? You got a Big Mac, and you got the Big Mac, and it's got the patties and all the extra shit, and it's like a Big Mac, right? It's supposed to be big, Big Mac. Um, and then they got the Bigger Mac, which is really just a Big Mac with another patty, which is fine, whatever. Bigger, bigger, Big Mac, whatever. But the problem is... The fuck is up with this Big Mac Jr. bullshit? That's just a hamburger. It's no longer a Big Mac, because a Big Mac was bigger than a burger. They still had cheeseburgers at McDonald's. You could order a cheeseburger, and it's different than a Big Mac. And now you just got the Big Mac, and the Little Big Mac, which is just... They renamed a cheeseburger. That's all they fucking did. Because as far as I know, Big Macs don't have any, like, special sauce or anything any differently than another fucking patty. It's like, if you went to... In and out, and you're like, mmm, I love those double doubles, but you know what I really love? Those one by ones. Like, no, that's not a fucking. It's a fucking cheeseburger. Cheeseburger, and that's it. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I heard a commercial on it for today, and it really fucking. It really fucking got to me, right? This has been a very triggery weekend. Is it the weekend? It is the weekend. It's been a very triggery weekend for one reason. I went to a show last night. I won some tickets on the radio to the Authority Zero show. I've been wanting to see them for a long time. Never really had a chance to see them because something always came up, right? I'm like, cool, fucking going to Authority Zero. Bam, then I got a meet and greet. I was like, cool, fucking meet and greet, awesome. Then the concert comes and I'm like, all right, cool, time for the concert. Openers come up. Openers come up and it's some weird knockoff version of Rise Against. Like, legit, might as well have just been a fucking tribute band to Rise Against without Rise Against actual music, but some of their melodies. And it really fucking pissed me off. Cause I'm all for like, taking inspiration for a band, but his voice was like, like he had to have practiced getting that voice similar. And then like, they legit took some of the melodies from Rise Against songs. Like, the very first song that played, they started the intro, I'm like, that's a Rise Against song. And then they put new lyrics to it. I'm like, what the fuck? And it's not something most people would understand because most people don't listen to this shit as religiously as I do. Like, I will legit sit there, and I've done this, where I, like, I'll listen to a Rise Against song and I'll write new lyrics to that Rise Against song just to practice writing lyrics. But I would never actually make it a song with that actual melody. And I get it, like, you're a Rise Against fans as well. Love you for that. Love you for taking inspiration from them but make your own shit. So that's how that started. And then the next band went up and they were okay. It was like this this young girl and this young guy. I mean, they were fresh out. She was fresh out of high school. He might have still been in high school. And then there was like a 15 year old and then someone who looked like one of their dads. But later on I found out was probably in his like early 20s because I got up close to him. They were, they were okay. Like at first it was a rocky. I thought it was a little bit too much like fly, fly leaf, but her voice is actually pretty damn good. And like they're gonna they're gonna do well at some point. Um, and then they played Rise Against song, and I was like, okay, that's how you do it. You say I'm fucking covering Rise Against, and then play one of their songs. But then another band came on, another opener, 
This is the third opener. And I was like, what the fuck? Where the fuck is Authority Zero? I was upset. And then they started playing. I was like, okay, well, their music's actually pretty good. So you know what? I'm going to fucking let it go. I'm going to fucking let it go because their music's actually pretty good. And then I'm like, all right, well, I'm getting tired at this point. I've been here for fucking three or four hours. Uh, Amelia's like ready to pass the fuck out. And then another band comes on and I'm like, what the fucking shit? There are four fucking openers at the show. It's nine o'clock. The show started at six. Where the fuck is Authority Zero? I came here to see Authority Zero. I'm all for openers. I'm all support for supporting smaller bands. But at a certain point, play at your own fucking show. And then they finished. I was like, all right, well, at least we get to listen to Authority Zero. And they're like, and now a band from Tokyo. And I'm like, ready to fucking flip. I'm like, five fucking openers. Like, you know what? Advertise that you have five fucking openers. All it said was with special guests. Special guests, I didn't know, man. Five fucking openers. So you got this band from fucking Tokyo that flew out 3,000 miles for this tour. Um, and it's like some ska band. And, but here's the thing. They were so fucking amazing that like, I didn't even care that there were five openers anymore. Like by the time this, this Japanese band, they're called uh, Haysmith, look them up. They were fucking fantastic and they were so high energy. They had six members, uh, dude in the back on the drums, uh, uh, two guitarists, uh, one was the main vocals. Uh, and he was all like, you know, like, traditional like punk shirt and long fucking like 2006 hair and then you had a guy on the side on the saxophone in some boxers and no shirt slapping the shit out of himself like fucking slapping the shit out of himself uh, and then you had like some girl with like long fucking green hair like uh, C2 from Code Geass playing the fucking uh, trombone like fucking like spinning it and shit and I'm like what the fuck and then you had like some dude on the uh, on the trumpet with like a giant ass fucking ponytail and he's just like fucking swinging his head and like jumping around and doing flips and shit while playing and then playing the like trumpet all like fucking awesome like and I'm like holy fuck you're blowing my mind man you're blowing my mind and like it was so fucking good and I was just like you know what like fuck man like all right let them go I, I mean they 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 almost stole the show from me I was like holy fucking shit and then finally authority zero came on I only ended up saying for half the set because at this point it was 11 30 I had to be at work at six and I was already fucking tired from working all fucking day and being up since fucking five in the morning so I was like I I can't I literally can't stay awake anymore um, but I got to hear some of my my favorite songs from them and it was really fucking cool and like they put on such a good fucking show i wish i had stayed for the whole thing but i just like fucking couldn't and it kind of upset me it kind of fucking upset me because if i had known there was five fucking openers i would have taken a goddamn nap and gone later and had more energy to fucking watch the whole fucking show then again it was on a saturday and i shouldn't be bitching because not everybody fucking works sunday mornings like i do i'm excited i'm excited though for uh for this week on because I'm gonna be able to get back into my normal routine of making videos um, at the rate I'm making I was making videos um, be able to do a little bit more than just fucking Resident Evil every goddamn day uh, we're gonna finish up layers of fear we're gonna finish up Resident Evil I'm gonna start streaming Witcher do another drunk souls we're gonna do some other videos that I want to do that I've been wanting to do and I haven't been able to do because I haven't had the goddamn time between work and Resident Evil so keep an eye out Thank you for bearing with me through this long stretch. I know it's this channel is mainly for Let's Plays, but it really is like more than just Let's Plays. Like I want to have that interaction with you guys. I want you guys to see parts of my life. I want you guys to like see me do shit, you know, aside from just playing the same game every fucking day. I don't like playing the same goddamn game every day. It feels so stale and I feel bad when I do it, but I need to get through this fucking game, man. I need to get through it. With that said, if you guys have anything you do want to see me play um, after Resident Evil and Layers of Fear, um, so starting not this week but next week, um, leave some comments down below because I'm always looking for new games. I'm especially always looking for games that you guys want to watch. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to troll Steam and Game Jolt and just pick up fucking other shit that I fucking see. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions or anything you really want to see me play, please, please, please leave a comment down below so I can get it and play it for you. <sighs> okay, I think that's it for this video. I burnt out the last resources of my energy. Yeah, anyways, thank you guys all for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, have a good fucking day, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Later.